supplications and prayers of his saints, that which is going to be up at His Grace Amber Danielle of the monastery. Just in a um, few words, I want to say that I love you all. Aww. I really, really love you. You are beautiful, you are smart, you are great. And you are our future um, generation. You are the future um, members of the church. You come from a very, very rich church. Very rich. And when you say I'm Coptic, make sure we are proud of being Coptic. You have to be very proud. You come from a very beautiful, traditional, strong, spiritual church. The church of, of the apostles. The teaching of the church is based on the teaching of the apostles. You have a church full of hymns, full of um, uh, tradition, full of arts, full of everything. And if you are really in the church, and I mean in the church, not just by your body, but by your spirit, and with your mind, with your heart, when you are full, full of the love of the church, you don't need anything else. You don't need to look outside for anything. Believe me. Those who need something else are those that come they just stand there. Stand there. They're not in the church. When you say, I'm going to church, you're going to church so you can meet with the Lord Jesus Christ. Through the Mass, through the sacraments, through the Holy Communion. Then you are in the church. And once you are in the church, nothing will um, harm you. Nothing will attract you out. I don't want to talk too much. I love you all. I'd like to see you at the ministry. And I'm so happy that uh, I've been invited to come and join you. What a beautiful occasion. May God bless you all, for, for everyone and each one of you, and for those really who work very hard to prepare such a beautiful function. It's not an easy thing. God bless you all. And now we welcome His Grace, Bishop Daniel, the Bishop of the Diocese of Sydney and its affiliated regions, our Father and our Friend. In the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one of the means, thank you, Tony, for saying our friend. I'm a friend of all of you, and I love you too, like Bishop Daniel said, and we are here to serve you. We are here because of you. We are here because we are half of the present and all the future. We are the preacher of the Coptic Orthodox Church. So please listen to what I'm going to say to you. Only three, three just recommendations. Number one, Father Elisha said, you need to be courageous and go to the Coptic school for your sons and daughters and to the church. I'm going to add one more entity, Coptic Orthodox entity. Please go to the San Sirius Theological College. I need to see many graduates from San Siro Theological College so that we can have good servants who can serve you, who can serve your generation. This is number one. Number two, we are the first country like Australia and we have many challenges facing us. Please remember the Lord will support you. The Lord will not leave you behind. No church leader no one prophet, no one saint, no one who seek the Lord did not face any challenges. So you need to be very strong in your faith and very strong in your relationship with God. The, 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 the chain temptation will pass and you are going to be victorious. Number three, please listen. Unity between churches is very important. We are not isolated churches. We are a diocese. And we need the use of St. Mark to know the use of Archangel Michael. And we need the use of, of New South Wales to know the use of Queensland. Do you have someone from Queensland? 
Now, uh, now, please try to see the unity of the diocese because this is number one in our SWOT analysis. Do you remember this, Father Joshua? We did the SWOT analysis and we saw that we need to have the unity between the youth ministry, not only in the diocese of Sydney churches, but also in Queensland, but also in other dioceses, like America, like Canada, like London or Europe, whatever. We need to have this relationship with other youth. Thank you very much for having me tonight on your show. I'm from St. Mary and St. Mina's Church in Bexley. I'd just like to thank all the organizers of this event, CYC, His Grace, Bishop Daniel, all the youth involved. It's been a great day. You know, it's not often we get to celebrate the Golden Jubilee of our diocese. You know, in 25 years' time is our next celebration. So it's so important that we were able to celebrate all the history going back to when Abu Namina Namatala arrived in 1969 and celebrate all the people that arrived here even before then and the history all the way until now. You know? It was an amazing night. I hope everybody watching was able to enjoy it as well. Until next time. Hi, my name is Abuna Anthony. Um, happy 50th anniversary. Um, it's awesome to be here tonight. Um, just something about the past 50 years. We're so grateful for the Coptic Church in Australia. Um, we were served and we're still being served and we are serving now. And it's awesome to see how the church has grown from something small, but something strong and become something strong in today's society. We're so grateful for all the fathers and all the servants, the giants in the church that taught us many, many things. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them by the, by the grace of God. We thank you, we love our diocese, we love our Pope, we love our Bishop. God bless you, happy 50th anniversary from all of us from Sydney, Australia. God bless. We are so happy to be here. We are celebrating the 50-year jubilee um, here in Australia, and we are so happy. Um, we love you, Pope Tuadros, and we miss you. Um, thank you for all that you've done for us. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. I am Monica, and I'm from Archangel Michael and St. Bishois. I am so honoured and blessed to be here today, and I feel like today has been an absolute success. I am so grateful for absolutely every person of the year that 